Hey there! I'm coming to you from my bathroom today so that I can review this shower head. This is the High Sierra Low Flow Shower Head and with the drought going on in California I recently researched water usage and ways to cut back and I decided to give a low flow shower head a try and doing some reading of online reviews basically everyone said the High Sierra shower head was the best one out there and so I thought I'd give it a try and I bought two to replace our shower heads with and I have to say I am very pleased with this shower head um, we like them a lot I would actually highly recommend this over any shower head high flow or low flow um, in fact when we first got this one um, we felt that the water was coming out with such good pressure and it was better performing than our previous one that I actually had to measure our old shower head and our new shower head just to see if it was indeed releasing 1.5 gallons per minute and for comparison so here's our previous shower head which is just a, a standard shower head and where is it so right there 2.5 GPM so that means this shower head would release two and a half gallons of water per minute which is the federal maximum allowed and that's what in fact 99% of shower heads if you go to Home Depot Lowe's or whatever they're all 2.5 GPM so if you have a shower head and you don't know what it is it's, chances are it's 2.5 but this is 1.5 so that makes the math easy one gallon of water less per minute so it really adds up when you think about the number of people taking a shower how many minutes you take a shower every day of the year so it adds up quickly <clears throat> now this shower head you know it may not look like much compared to you know some people get this notion in their head that a shower head needs to look like this and they might think this looks industrial or something like that but uh, I think it's actually a good looking shower head but the design is really good so in here it's different in that there's a single orifice in there where the water comes out and then this cone here basically amplifies it and turns it into you know the the standard shower spray that you expect whereas shower heads like this operate off of just tons and tons of holes and you can see you know there's mold and algae and debris and the holes get plugged up but because this is a single large hole in here it actually can't plug up so that's a good thing the shower head itself I mean the quality of construction is incredible I mean most shower heads are plastic or if they are metal it's gonna be like thin stamped metal a lot of them have moving parts things like that this here this shower head is literally machined out of a single piece of aluminum when you hold it in your hand it has some heft to it so definitely impressed with the construction on this um, installation is very simple I mean, you know, you take your old shower head off, which might require some pliers depending on how long it's been on there. And then once you've got the shower head off, just, you know, clean the threads off with a towel or something like that. And then, so this is the white stuff here is Teflon tape. Sell it at Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store for about a dollar. And just wrap it around clockwise and do maybe six or seven turns and then put the shower head on and tighten it up by hand. You don't need to use a wrench on there. Hand tight should be good enough. So anyone, whether or not you have plumbing experience, could exchange this out, swap this out easily. Um, the shower head itself, just like I said, incredible. Um, one thing that's good, I mean, this is actually made in the United States. Um, the name High Sierra is not just a, a misnomer. Um, that said, you know, like all other shower heads are made in China or Taiwan. I believe this is the only shower head that is still made in the United States. Um, <clears throat> uh, one of the things I'll point out, so they make, Hysera makes a 1.5 and a 1.8 gallon shower head. And some people might be tempted to go with the 1.8, thinking it's closer to where they're coming from and so they won't notice a difference. And I would actually discourage that. Um, some family members of mine, after they saw this, tried it out, they wanted to get one, so they got the 1.8 because they were hesitant about that change. And what they've experienced is the 1.8 actually released water out to, uh, with too much pressure and it was kind of stinging them as they took a shower. And so they've actually since ordered a 1.5 and they're pleased with that. So, you know, for most people I would say get the 1.5. The only reason I would recommend a 1.8 is if your house has really low water pressure 
And then you might go with the 1.8 because that'll release more water. But uh, for most people, the 1.5 is good. And you know, the, the spray coming out of here, it has a lot of pressure to it. It's not the 1.5, I've never had a stinging sensation from it. It's just really good pressure, but uh, it doesn't feel like it's a gallon of less water. It's very easy to wash shampoo out of your hair, things like that. Now, as much as I love this shower head, there are two things that I wish didn't happen, but uh, they both have to do with noise, actually. So when you take a shower, um, the shower head itself is ever so slightly louder than a regular shower head. Now, I wouldn't call it loud. It just makes a little bit more noise than a regular shower head. But the one that's kind of annoying, so we have here a tub shower combo. And when you're using the tub feature, so when you're filling the tub down there, um, the shower head has a tendency to whistle. And that's actually because of the way the piping is run in the wall. And as the water goes into the bathtub, it can actually pull air down the shower pipe into the, and mix it into the water stream down there. So it can actually create a, a whistling noise up here. Now that may or may not happen to you if you have a tub shower like this. Um, it all depends on the flow rate, the design of your tub shower. I mean, there's so many different factors in there. I mean, for ours, even just changing the temperature affects whether or not you hear that whistling noise. And in a moment here, I'll turn it on so you can hear it. Hopefully it'll come up on the camera. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so, you know, if you're installing this in a dedicated shower, that's not going to be an issue at all. It's only if it's a tub shower. And even then, it's only when you're filling the tub. So I'll go ahead and turn it on now and we'll see if the camera is able to pick up the whistling noise and then I'll turn on the shower and let you hear, you know, the slightly more noise from the shower head over a regular shower head. So hopefully you can hear that. And now I'll turn on the shower. So, very good spray, very powerful spray. So yeah, definitely like the shower head if you're thinking about trying to save water and money. Um, give High Sierra a look. I would recommend this to anyone. I highly recommend this. So, thanks for watching.